Most experts say DEET is more helpful than harmful since it can protect against ticks and mosquitoes which carry disease. In our area, we have serious reason to be concerned about West Nile too since there have been several mosquito tests positive for it this summer in Harris County and the city of Houston. So here's how local and national experts want you to protect your little ones. The CDC wants you to use long lasting protection with one of three active ingredients most effective in this order, DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus. The American Academy of Pediatrics advises refraining from using repellents on infants younger than two months and not letting kids under 10 apply it themselves. According to Dr. Helene Sheena with Kelsey Siebold, adults should apply it to their own hands and then rub the repellent onto young children. If you're going to be in an area where there may be a lot of mosquitoes, have kids wear long sleeve shirts and long pants too. You wouldn't have to spray under the t-shirt, you would just spray the shirt. Spraying this over clothes and onto exposed skin parts like hands and feet. She prefers products like this one, carefully spotting this has the highest amount of DEET. So like if you go with something 30%, it's going to be effective for more hours as opposed to something that's 10%. Bug spray with DEET should help protect you from both mosquitoes and ticks. She says picaridin or this lemon eucalyptus are also recommended but not as effective. She did not like wearable devices like these with ingredients like citronella. And when applying sunscreen, she says apply the sunscreen first, then bug spray. You'll need to reapply the sunscreen more frequently than the repellent. Make sure kids bathe with soap as soon as they get home to wash the spray off of their skin. And the city of Houston says this is the time to eliminate mosquitoes in your area. Get rid of any standing water in your yard. Remove receptacles where water can collect and allow mosquitoes to breed. That includes things like empty buckets, bird baths, unused tires. And to make the area less hospitable to ticks, clean up any dead leaves or overgrown brush. And remember to mow long grass. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.